Hi, my name is Sid Joshi. I'm the Director for Product Management at Oracle. With me is Vikas Sharma from Charles Taylor. Vikas, can you please introduce yourself and what you do uh, and a bit about Charles Taylor, please? Hey, uh, I'm Vikas Sharma. I head the uh, Global Technology Unit of uh, Oracle and Insys Delivery uh, within Charles Taylor InsureTech. Uh, within Charles Taylor InsureTech, we are uh, we have uh, some flagship uh, offerings for uh, insurance sectors in the technology space. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, uh, policy admin system. We have offering for uh, claims management, delegated authority, uh, uh, brokerage. So we work on uh, on on various areas of uh, insurance within uh, InsureTech. Thank you, Vikas. So, could you please share with the audience today? the usage of WebLogic in your solution stack and how has that helped you? Yeah, WebLogic is one of the key uh, products that we use uh, within, within our offering. And this uh, product is primarily used in our policy admin system. Within policy admin system, uh, we have uh, different uh, small, small applications, uh, which comprises of the entire uh, solution of policy admin system. And WebLogic server makes the key uh, middleware layer uh, where the, uh, the core application resides and performs. That's really great because, so could you tell our audience a bit about the technical challenges that you had resolved when you were moving your WebLogic workload onto OCI with WebLogic OCI solution? That's a good one. Uh, this, uh, the, the main first and foremost uh, thing uh, which we were uh, assessing whether how seamless the lift and shift or movement of our application from on-prem into cloud would be. And it was surprising that when we moved uh, our application from on-prem to cloud, it was a seamless lift and shift and we had uh, uh, we didn't made any kind of code changes. So it was uh, it was a really uh, good move from a from, uh, technical standpoint. Uh, the second part, uh, which, uh, is, uh, which gives our benefit from a technology standpoint is the environment uh, efficiency. So we can create uh, 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 different environments, provision environments uh, with WebLogic servers utilizing Terraform scripts within uh, within minutes or hours, not in days. So that, that's the second one. The third one is uh, uh, more on the robustness of WebLogic Server. WebLogic Server has been in the market for quite, uh, quite many years. So it's a very robust uh, uh, application server. So we create uh, rack clusters and uh, it gives us uh, robustness, scalability, and it performs uh, to, a, to a high extent. And this paves the, our journey towards modernization into container-based architecture. So now when we are in, in cloud, we can move into uh, Kubernetes architecture and move towards and modernize our application. That's fantastic. So it's like you are able to modernize your existing investment as well as take on the journey of modernizing with, with cloud native and containerization with the project. That's amazing. Would you like to highlight some of the business benefits that you have also observed in your journey? Uh, so business benefit, uh, uh, some of them are really, really uh, uh, obvious ones are uh, with, with, with this, uh, uh, as I mentioned, that we were, uh, we get the efficiency to, to build our environments very fast. So this leads to faster time to market of our solution. So we, 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 can, we can build our solution and deliver it uh, to our customers uh, quite, quite rapidly. Uh, then uh, cost optimization is another one where uh, we can uh, scale up uh, or we can, we can shut down servers, the, the non-prod environments uh, at, uh, during uh, it will be used only for the business hours and we can shut down them and, and uh, uh, make cost saving for the company. Uh, the third one is uh, uh, on the flexibility to onboard a new customer. So uh, we, when we have to uh, onboard new customers, we can again quickly uh, provision environments and, uh, and deploy application, do some customization and, and uh, deliver it for the new customers. Uh, and it, this whole uh, uh, cluster mechanism, uh, which I touched upon in the technical benefits, it gives the high availability part as well from, uh, uh, and, and it provides the business benefit of high availability, disaster recovery, so we can have primary sites, secondary sites uh, in, in, uh, uh, for our customers. Uh, and then uh, basically it's again, uh, uh, with all the technical benefits, the, the business benefit again is uh, attached is uh, the future proofing part where we can move towards the modernized architecture part and modernize our uh, application utilizing uh, the other uh, strong areas of web logic uh, on cloud, uh, namely Kubernetes architecture, container-based architecture. 
Wow, that's so much fantastic that you are saying so many business benefits of cost optimization, uh, resiliency, innovation, and standardization of environments for your customers. It's amazing. So, Vikas, what would your um, thoughts be to share with customers who are looking to modernize their web logic estate? What would your advice for them be? For the customers to, uh, who wants to modernize, I mean, this is a very good time to modernize. Uh, I'll say uh, this uh, with, with all, the, all the power of the uh, legacy application in the on-prem on, uh, on WebLogic uh, for those customers who still run uh, uh, their applications on uh, WebLogic on-prem, they can take it on the cloud you, and, and again, get benefit of, of all the investment they have done in past with all the benefits from, from the past and in the new world, move towards the modernization uh, and, and utilize uh, uh, the uh, container-based architecture for any innovations and future-proofing and uh, uh, towards the cloud cloud world. So that will be a combination of old and new in, in one area. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you so much, Rikas, for your time today and sharing your precious knowledge and your thoughts and your experience with us today. So we thank are very you. grateful, Rikas. Thank you for joining us today and I uh, wish you and Charles Saylor the greatest of success in making your product even more innovative on the technology that you choose. Thank you Thank so you very much. much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.